Hi guys, welcome back to the final workout in our fall flow series. And today we are spicing things up big time with a bit of cardio in the mix. So if you are ready to try this crazy combo of cardio plus a little bit of yoga flow, grab a light set of hand weights and your mat and let's get started. So let's start, as always, with just a little bit of a shake, a shake, rattle, and roll. So go ahead, circle out the shoulders, navel stays drawing in nice and tight, setting the posture, getting ready to do this dance, and circle forward. Keep that navel drawn in nice and tight, back long, and then shoulders down back, chin forward, slowly circle head in one direction. All the way around if that feels okay. You can always um, just do a half neck roll as well and circle back in the opposite direction and lift chin in center. So go ahead, just come to the front portion of your mat, the business portion. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, just take a forward fold here. Hang out down there. Not the head, yes. Shake it out now. We're just do a little bit of inversion just uh, to wake everything up. Nod it yes again. Wee hoo! And then you can keep the fingertips touching down there. Just start to pedal up the legs. So keeping heels down, just pushing one hip back at a time. If you need something a little milder for the back, you can take hands up to the tops of the legs and just stay a little bit more supported there. But just giving it a nice little shake out. Put a soft bend in both knees, grab opposite elbows, take a little sway side to side there. Just letting the back of the neck hang nice and long. Couple more, and then go ahead, release and center. So you're gonna inhale, lift halfway, hands to shins, flat back, legs are straight, pull shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift halfway, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. And exhale, and on this next inhale, we're just gonna sweep whoo, all the way back up. And exhale, hands come down. And we're gonna crack, crack right along into it. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit more intense maybe than some of the other fall flow series. Um, but do what you can, you can always modify, right? So inhale, reach arms up, exhale, we're all taking forward fold, so we're all here together. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands down. So this is where I'm gonna give you the option. For the most part, we've been stepping back. If you wanna make that step, now a jump, you'll jump it, yeah? Hold in plank for just a couple of breaths here, so navel drawing it tight, shoulders pulling away from the ears. Everything's nice and strong. On your next inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend elbows back, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest forward and through. Exhale, roll back over the feet into downward dog. There we go. Look toward the hands, put a soft bend in the knees, and then again, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Another time through, just like that. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back, we're gonna speed up a little bit. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back. Again, let's just hold in that plank for a couple of breaths. Just getting the core to start thinking. And inhale, shift forward, exhale, bend back. Inhale, lift chest forward and through. Exhale, roll back over the feet. We're in downward dog, again. Gaze is forward, soft bend in the knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, you know what to do. Hold in plank, hold in plank. We're gonna start to add on a little bit here. Inhale, forward, exhale, bend back. Inhale, lift chest forward and through. Exhale, roll back, roll back. Back to downward dog, stay there. Feet are together. Nice flat back, navel drawing in tight. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, tuck it into the nose, knee to the nose. Inhale, reach again. Keep going on that same side. So tuck and reach. Tuck and reach. Whew. 
Four more here. Fairly good pace. Because we are trying to build a bit of heat. Get the heart rate up. And last one. Whoop. Foot comes down. Just for fun, shift forward to plank. Let's lower down again here. So forward, elbows bend back. Scoop it through. Back to downward up. And we'll repeat on the left. So feet together, reach that left leg up. We tuck in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck in. Get in the abs. Get in the butt. Get in the shoulders. And here's four, three, two, and one. Good. Foot comes down. Soft bend in the knees. Shift gaze. Step or jump forward. Inhale, reach arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Again. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands down. Step or jump back. Hold plank. Hold, hold, hold. And we'll lower it down. So shift forward. Bend elbows back. Woo! We'll lift it through. Those get tiring. <laughs> Exhale back to downward dog. And now we're going to go just straight up cardio here. Shift forward to plank. We are taking a mountain climber. In fact, let's bring a little bit more of the obliques into it. Make it a cross body mountain climber. So just start running the knees in. Shoulders stay over the wrists. Back stays flat, so butt in line with the shoulders, and go big here. Race it up. Keep running, keep running. And give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Press back, downward dog. Shift gaze forward, soft bend in the knees. Step or jump forward. Whoo, my mat's going away from me. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Hands down by the sides. Whew. Take a couple nice deep breaths there. Maybe more than a couple. Shake it out. There we go. Now we're getting warm. It's getting colder. It's not cold in here. Because we got the heat on. But it's getting colder. Okay. Round two, feet are going to be all the way together, your toes come forward toward the front of your mat. You're going to inhale, sit back, finding that chair. So navel is in tight, you're squeezing the butt like you got 500 euro or some variety of currency, a large amount of currency in there. Hold that currency in your butt, weight is in the heels, hold, hold, hold. Exhale, forward fold. Woo! Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, hold and plank. I just like to stop in these little holds. Opportunity to take a breather, plus get a little bit more core work. So inhale, shift forward, exhale, bend back, inhale, scoop through, exhale, roll back, inhale, reach right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. Exhale, tuck into your chest, step between hands. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, fold forward, step back to plank. We'll lower it down. So shift forward, bend back, push it through, roll it back. There we go. Same thing on the left. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, tuck it in. As many steps as you need to take to get that heel down. Inhale, lift up, pushing back leg long. Exhale, forward fold, step back to plank, and then this time, we'll just press back to downward dog, soft bend in the knees, shift gaze forward, step or jump forward, Woo. inhale into that chair, not all the way up, just that chair, hold it here again, squeeze the navel in even tighter, you might think you're squeezing it tight enough, but let's just say that none of us actually is, let's squeeze tighter, exhale, forward fold, let's go straight, inhale, lift halfway, Flat back, exhale, palms down, and step or jump back. 
hold in plank. My mat is sliding around all over the place. I get night. Shift forward, bend elbows back, pop it through, roll it back. We'll do that same thing again here. So inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step between the hands. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands touch down, step back to plank. We'll lower it down, so shift forward. Elbows bend back, hugging the sides. Go triceps, go. Scoop it through. Exhale, roll back. Woo. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, tuck it into the chest. Step that foot between the hands. Arms reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left foot back, press back to downward dog. Look forward toward the hands. Bend the knees softly. Step or jump forward. Inhale, chair. There we are. See, now we're going. We're going fast. So if those other ones were too slow for you, yeah, this is it. This is where we go big. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands down, and jump or step back to plank. You know what to do. You know what works. Shift forward, bend elbows back. Scoop it through, roll back. Woo, we're gonna add on this time. So inhale. Reach the right leg up, exhale. Tuck right knee into chest, step it between the hands, we'll lift up to that lunge still. So we're here, yeah, we're gonna pop the back leg off, arms will press back. So I'll do one, just to show you, and then we're all gonna do it together. So it's gonna be, whoop, back to that crescent lunge, okay? That's the idea, we're going for 10 of these in three, two, one. We lift and crescent, lift, and crescent. Back leg will stay straight throughout. That's halfway. Oop. Four, a little bit of wiggly, wiggliness. Two, and one. Good. Frame the right foot with the hands, step back to plank, and we'll shift forward again, lower it down. So inhale forward, exhale, bend elbows back, hugging the sides tight. Inhale, scoop the chest through. Exhale, roll back. Downward dog. We'll do that on the left. So inhale, left leg up. Exhale, tuck that knee into the chest. Step between the hands. So let's first set up our nice strong lunge, right? So back leg is pushing long. It stays long. Arms will fly back. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's a lift. Woo! <laughs> Left side is a lot harder for me. Let's get it. Gotta do these unilateral exercises to balance it all out. And here's four, three, two, and one. Good, Woo. Frame that left foot. Step back to plank. Push back to downward dog. Woo, yeah. Feels good to hang out here for a second. Gaze goes forward, soft bend in the knees, step or jump forward, and guess what? We're lifting into that little chair again. Yes, we are. So hold it there in that chair, sinking down nice and low. Maybe each time we meet here, you find that you can get a little bit lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or jump. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Shift forward. Bend back, lift through, roll over the feet, back to downward dog. You know this little pattern by now. All right, inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, tuck that knee into the chest, step right foot between the hands. Again, make sure that heel is down. Inhale, lift, press, and lunge. This time, that back leg is going to draw all the way through, and you're going to give me a little hop. So again, I will show you one, just so you know what's happening, and then we're all gonna go together. So we're here, we're gonna do a little pop and back, okay? So that's what's happening. We start in three, two, one, and again, we're going for 10. Just a little controlled hop. I 
and here's four. Last one, land back, whoop, in that crescent lunge, fold forward, hands down, step the right foot back, we're in our high plank, and we'll do another little chaturanga here. So forward, elbows go back, hugging the sides, we lower the straight line, lift the chest through, roll back over the toes, there we go, inhale, left leg up, exhale, step between the hands, inhale, reach arms up. So we've got a deep bend in the front knee, back leg straight. Uh, there's no demo here, because you know what you're doing. So in three, we'll all go for it. Here's three, two, one. We hop and step and hop and step. Here's four. Last one, whoop, hands drop down again. Step back, two plank, push all the way back to downward dog, pedal it out for a second here. We're gonna be picking up the weights in just a second. So pedal it out there, gaze goes forward, bend the knees, hop forward, we're lifting the chair one last time. So sink low into it, this is your lowest one. Squeeze everything. Just that little bit tighter and press all the way up to standing. Give it a little shake out. So yeah, quite a bit faster than we're used to with our fall flow series. And tragically, there should have been another fall flow video, um, but tech has not been my friend lately. So there's a missing video that like was all filmed. In fact, it was even all edited. And then my computer was just like, no, and basically like imploded. So that's what happened. That's why it has been a minute between videos. So this is our last fall flow. We're going to make the most of it. And there will be more. I'm going to get the tech sorted. Probably going to have to get a new computer. Wah. But do what we need to do. So feet coming nice and wide here. Toes turning out to the sides. Grab those weights. If you're using them, you can also choose not to. I've got one and a half kilo which is about three pounds. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't go really over that. We're gonna do an elevated bicep curl. So elbows are away from the side. If you're using a heavier weight, pull the elbows into the sides because you want that extra bit of support. Back stays flat. We're gonna curl up to the shoulders, press all the way back up to standing. So nice deep bend in the knees. Knees are pressing wide, butt stays tucked under. Yeah. So yeah, now we're getting into a little bit of sort of bar. But don't worry, it's gonna be mixed. We're all over the place today. We've got like a little bit of bar. We're using some weights. We got some cardio. There's like some yoga in there. I don't know, it's all over the place. I'm here for it. I like variety. Here's three, two, and one, stay low. Arms come back out front, soft bend the elbows. You're just gonna do little tiny pulses with the arms, keeping them parallel, just right in front of the shoulders. Drop low through the butt, make it burn. Squeeze navel tight. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep arms there. Pulse that little plie squat. Oh my God, I'm being sweaty. The heat is not even currently running. It seems to be really efficient. I say that, though we have not gotten a gas bill yet, so I'm like, is it efficient? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna bring the elbows back by the sides, palms stay up, pop up the right heel, reach forward. So it's a lift of the heel, reach forward. Arms come back, heel lifts up. We bring it forward, keep turning both knees out. Stay low, you've got to bend in both knees. It's not a lunge, it is a plie squat. So we're equal, even though it's one heel that's lifting. Here's four, three, two, and one. Keep the elbows glued to the sides. 
You're just going to rotate out. That heel stays lifted, bring it in. Keep pushing knees as wide as you can. Straight wrists here. Abs in tight. Keep it going. Here's four and three, two. Keep it out one. Pulse it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Press it up. Okay. So I'm going to be opposite of you guys because I was mirroring you for that one. You are going to turn toward your left. Yeah? You're going to turn toward your left. I'm turning toward my right. So we're basically set up for a lunge. You may recognize this position from lunges past. Um, toes, knees, hips, everything pointing straight forward here. And your torso is going to be centered between both legs. Weight's coming out in front. You have a little bend in the elbows. You're going to drop that back knee. Arms go overhead. That's it. So nice little lunges here. Down and up. Make sure that you're pa packing, tucking the back knee under so that you are maintaining just that central position as we come down and up. And you're going to give me four, Whoop. <laughs> three, getting shaky in here. Two, we're going to stay low on one. Yes, we are. And we're going to pulse it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I want you to spin your right foot open again. You're going to keep a bend in your left knee. Sink nice and low. So you might need to step the feet a little bit wider after that lunge. I had to just then, that's fine. And then press like straight, right? So left foot is going to be pointing toward the side of your mat. Right foot is straight forward toward me. Toward me. Elbows are into the side here. Palms facing in. We're going to drop down into a warrior two. Arms are just going to reach away from you. Pull back in. So we're just serving out, pulling it back in, right? So you're going to be bending that left knee. Knee tracks straight over the toes. See, I'm getting sweaty. I feel like I need to crack a window or something. Oh my God. Yeah. This is our first, um, our first apartment in Madrid that has heating. So we've been kind of abusing it, I'm not gonna lie. So like, it is pretty toasty in here. It's nice until you need to work out. And then it's a little bit less nice. Last one, you're gonna stay low here. Little, tiny lifts of those arms. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. So right hand is just gonna plant on that right hip here. Left hand, you're gonna have palm facing in, a little bend in the elbow, it's right next to your ear. So keeping the bend in the legs, that doesn't change. You're just gonna take a little lean. We're basically going for a reverse warrior. Press that left arm up overhead. It doesn't really have to go too much over. It's just a little tilt, keeping the length in the torso as you press that weight up. So we're working the obliques as well as that shoulder. Go for four more here. Here's last two. And one, woo, woo, come out of it. There we go. Give the legs a little shake out. Give them a little shake out. There we go, all right, all right. We've got a second side. You know it's true. But we're gonna come all the way back up to the top of that just because we can, really. So feet are gonna open up nice and wide again. Toes come out. This time we're not going for the bicep curl though. You're gonna start in this victory goal pose position. We're gonna do a chest press here. So as you drop down, elbows come together. Press it open, squeeze shoulder blades together. It's a press together. Press back. Expanding across the chest. Try to keep the elbows lifted in line with the shoulders as you draw them together. 
So basically, don't let them come down here. Not the same thing. Not the same. Keep it lifted. We want everything to be lifted. And go for three, two, and one. Stay low here. Pulse those arms up. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open it up. Pulse that plie for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! All right. We're going to turn into a lunge. Opposite side. So this time you guys are going to turn to your right. Oh wait, no, we had to do those heel lifts. Oh my god. Save that just in time. The sweat's getting to me. The heat in this apartment. Drop low again here. You're going to bring arms back in front here. You're going to pop up. Left heel. Reach it forward. Good save. Good save. So same as before. Keep it tight, keep it controlled. Nice high lift of the heel. And here's four, three, two. Get ready to hold it. So heel stays lifted, elbows at the sides. We rotate open and in, open and in. Such a great posture. We'll see if you can sink a little bit lower. Here's four and three, two, keep it open on one, pulse it here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Now you're going to turn to your right. I'm turning to my left. Whew. Everything pointing in that same direction again here. Weight is centered, weights in front or no weights. If you don't want to use the weights, you'll just reach your arms up. We drop to that lunge. Oh, here we go. So, tuck back knee under, arms pop up overhead. Woo! So, yeah, I'm finishing with my non dominant side, <laughs> clearly. Hopefully, this will be your dominant for many of you. And we've got four. Last one, you're gonna stay low. We gotta pulse it. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open your left foot back up. Maybe do si do it back a little bit. Right foot stays as it is. Straight, straight going that way. Um, so we'll start all the way up at the top. So you're in this big triangle, right? Right foot turned open, left foot going forward. Arms at the sides. As we drop to warrior two, arms just serve out. We pull them back in. We drop low. We reach. We bring it back in. Keep it going here. How are we doing? <laughs> Yeah, we're finishing. We're going out of fall flow with a bang. A bang. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Just ignore the sweat that's dripping down my face right now. That's part of it. Last one, you're gonna stay low. The lifts of the arms here, the straighter you go, the harder it's gonna be. For six, five, four, three, two, one. So, left hand just comes down to the hip there. Keep that nice deep bend in the right knee. Right hand by the ear. A little tilt. Reach up and over. Bring it back down. Really controlled. Again, if that's uncomfortable, if you're tilting too much, going too far like across with the weight, don't do that. Stay a little straighter there. Don't tilt quite as much. Just reach the weight straight up. That's fine. So, do what you can do with control. Here's four. Last two, and one. Good, and release. There we go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Put those weights down for now. We are gonna come back to them. Put them down for now. 
turn the toes out, <laughs> turn them out, sit nice and low, arms up to the side, and you're just gonna give me a little, a little pop here. This is our last little bit of cardio. It's all kind of big cardio because we've been quite leggy. We've been moving fast, so you might feel that the heart rate has gotten up. We've done a little bit of jumping. We're doing some more right here. So keeping a bend in those knees as you leave the floor. You're barely leaving the floor. Keep popping. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And give it a shake out. There we go. You can step the feet back together. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Let the heart rate come down a bit because we are going to take it down to the floor. We've done a bunch of legs, fair bit of upper body. We're going to finish off with abs. Duh! Of course we are. Of course. All right. So, a few nice deep breaths here. Let's just let the heart rate come back down before we come down to our mats. Long inhale, long exhale. One more there. All right. And then at your leisure, you can just come down to your mat. As I said, have those weights handy. Oh, yay. So we're just going to start with one of those weights. If you want to use the weights at all. You don't have to. It is always optional. And if you don't have weights, just grab like, I don't know, a can, a can of tomatoes, something like that. Knees are going to lift to tabletop though. We're all doing that. Navel squeezes in tight. Keep the lower back pressing down to the floor. Arms reaching up, whether they're with a the weight or without. And you're just going to exhale, crunch up over the knees. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, release. Make sure you're not letting the knees come in like this. They stay directly over the hips. And focusing on that breath. So exhale up, inhale down. Hopefully feeling a little bit of shake in the navel. Shake your roll. And let's do four more here. Here's two, you're gonna hold it on one, and you're just gonna pulse here. Just a little nice pulses for eight. Four, three, two, one. Head comes down, keep the knees in that tabletop position. Head, neck, and shoulders are actually gonna stay down. So arms or weight above the chest. You're just gonna extend the right leg long. Arms go overhead, bring it back to tabletop. So just that right leg for now, you're repeating. Reach long, bring it up. Whatever you do, do not let the lower back lift away from the floor. Whatever you do, that is of critical importance. We've got four more here. Here's two, we're gonna hold the last one. Yay, hold that last one. Weight is gonna come into the right hand. You're going to pass it behind the left leg. So you're gonna crunch up, grab it, yeah? Come with me now. So crunch each time. Because yeah, you could do that weight pass without actually crunching, but like what would be the fun of that? No fun. So crunch each time. Here's four. Three, two, one. Good, bring the knees in. Weight can still be in that right hand, it can be in either hand. We're just gonna bicycle it here. So you can do this with head, neck, and shoulders down, or you can lift to a crunch position, and you're just gonna pass that weight in a little figure eight as we bicycle the legs. So again, nice steady pace. If you wanna go really crazy with these, you can speed them up. I find it a bit harder to control if you're using that weight, but if you're using no weight, I would encourage you to go crazy with this one. Go crazy. Here's four, three, two, one. Good. Knees back to tabletop. We're going to repeat that with the left leg. So arms up overhead, extend the left leg, 
Arms go over, bring it back. So nice long stretch there, really feeling the abs work. Again, it might feel a little bit shaky, but that's nice, that's a nice thing. And we've got four. Last one. Remember, we're gonna hold that left leg long, take the weight into your left hand. We sit up, we're crunching, we're passing it around, left to right. So crunch each time. Left leg stays long. Getting a nice little burn, hopefully. Here's four. Last one there. Good, bring it in. And again, we're gonna do another set of those little bicycles with the weight pass. So pedal it out. I like these, I think these are nice. And go for four, three, two, one. Good, woo, release. So this is where you have the option of grabbing the second weight. Two, two of a good thing is better than one. Um, sure, so knees into a tabletop position. Again, elbows are gonna be open in line with the shoulders. Palms are facing away from you. Um, weight, hands, stacked directly over the elbows. So we're gonna do a chest press here with a double leg extension. So legs will go out the diagonal, weights push up, right? So it's a little reach. Bring it back in. You know the drill with the lower back. It stays down. Exhale on each extension. And here's four, three, two, Keep the legs long on one, keep those weights lifted. You're gonna do a double leg lift. So see if you can bring the shins all the way to those weights. Exhale as you lift, but don't jump the legs up. That's the tricky thing. So there's no momentum. See if you can make contact without jumping them. We've got four more here. Here's four. Three. Two. One. So you can take a quick rest there or keep the legs lifted here in turn. Palms in to face each other. Soft bend in the elbows. We're gonna do a fly. So chest fly with a single leg drop. We'll alternate legs. Um, so, right leg's in drop, arms open to the side. Obviously, <laughs> you can go a little bit bigger there with the right arm. As usual, I'm contending with the wall to my side. We'll just keep alternating legs. So, open, press it back up. You could modify this with bent knees. That's a possibility. That's always a possibility. And go for four, three, two, one. Legs are up, turn palms toward your legs. You can soften the knees a little bit. You're gonna crunch up for the ankles. This is it, this is our finale. So just keep going there. Not too many of these. And here's four. Last one. Good. Oh, hands come down. Legs come down. Weights go. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
knees come into the chest. Give it a little shake out. You know what? I'm feeling a happy baby right now. I'm feeling it. So here's how we're gonna do it. Let's actually start from a C fine pigeon. So both feet are planted. You're just gonna cross right ankle over left knee. Make that nice little number four. Flex the right foot so that you're locking that ankle in place. And then grab either behind the left thigh or around the left calf. Pull in, make sure you're not lifting tailbone up like that. Your back stays totally flat, hug it in. You can do a little rock here, side to side as well. I find I can just get a little bit more into that hip with a slight rock, but you know, it's up to you. You can also just hold it there. And then release the left foot down. You're gonna grab the outer arch of the right foot in the right hand, float that left leg away from you, keep it planted, and then here's our half, our half happy baby. So we're opening that knee wide, Foot is straight up toward the ceiling, the sole of the foot that is. So foot is flexed, like you're leaving a little footprint and make sure you're not rocking like that. So keep that left hip down, back stays fully flat again. Just pressing it down and go ahead, release. So right foot touches down, cross left ankle over right knee. Nice little number four, again, flex the foot and then grab behind the thigh or around the calf, the shin, pull in. Maybe taking a little rock there. So things might be a little bit tighter as it gets a bit colder. Um, yeah, <laughs> not a happy time for our joints. Right foot comes down, grab the outer arch of the left foot. So you know, don't feel like you have to really push stretches super hard. Um, if your body is cold, I mean now we're warm, hopefully we're warm. Yeah, so that's why we're stretching now. Um, but if anything is feeling a little bit cold or a little bit like stiffer than usual, don't push it too far. Um, and the other thing is make sure that you're really staying hydrated. Um, I think we tend to actually get more dehydrated as it gets colder, bring both feet in here, you'll just hug them in, um, than even when it's warm, um, because we tend to ignore more of the signs of dehydration, rock all the way up to a seated position. There we go. Let's just give the upper body a little stretch out. So cross one arm in front of the chest. So yeah, just make sure you're drinking a bunch of water because it is easier to forget. Um, take that hand between the shoulder blades, press down and release. Switch sides, pull it across the chest. Hand between the shoulder blades. Sorry, no cats today. Maybe you've seen, I think possibly you can see Luna. Luna's just sleeping there in front of the radiator. She's got the hot spot. She knows what's up. And then take hands here at the base of the spine. Press down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come to hands and knees. We'll take a cat cow just because that's always such a nice restorative one for the back. So inhale, hollow. Cross chest forward and through. Exhale around, tuck in. Hopefully you've been able to see Luna over here. She looks mega cute. So, that's nice. And then round, cross back to a child's pose. Always a nice place to finish. I like to turn palms upward. And I just get a little bit more of a stretch across the front of the chest and the fronts of the shoulders with palms up. But you know, you decide. And then go ahead, press the chest up, walk hands back in, sit up nice and tall. That's us done. That's us done with fall flow. Such a tragedy. No, um, we'll be into some other videos. I want to do maybe some festive stuff. We'll see. Hopefully I get my tech sorted. Bear with me. Um, hang in there. And if you have any requests for videos that you would like to see now that this series is over, please, please, please let me know down below in the comments. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button because then you can catch everything and I would love it if you did that. And of course, if you enjoyed this workout, give it a like, that really helps. Um, every, every little bit of feedback is super helpful for me. So thank you guys for doing this one with me and I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye.